not born in the traditional understanding. It appears that we are, but we really aren't. Star people and star seeds do not come directly from the source into a human body. However, we all come from one source and our souls first and foremost. So when you're told that you come from a particular planet, what this means is that you have first incarnated onto that planet and then have come on to planet Earth. When we were ready to go back to Earth yet again in our missions, what happens usually is we're condensed into a little ball, pill-like blue chip, having to go through seven heavens, which are star systems. There is a doorway of Antares connected to the Arcturian Council. Antares is an important gateway to other galaxies and universes, the interdimensional bridge to Andromeda from our galaxy. Some souls upon physical incarnation choose to pass through the Antares gateway to reactivate soul memory. Here on Earth, a lot of people that are referred to as starseeds actually have come through Antares or Arcturus. They are highly sensitive, highly intellectual, usually highly empathic, withdrawn and reserved delivered into our mother's womb. There we would merge with the DNA structure and cells of the human embryo, taking up residence in a human body, looking like a human should with alienisms coming through once in a while in our facial features, especially when we would activate, which is connecting to our star family. So there would be absolutely nothing human about us. And we'd remember everything we think of us.
We are a soul in an alien body, a new human template, a new skin suit. There's a thin film separating our alien body from our human body. It's bluish in color. We can change anything and everything in order to experience what we wish to experience. We are here to activate the grids, activate the portals, activate humanity and Gaia as a whole. We are here to illuminate, transmute, transform, assist, and make way for a new peaceful, harmonious understanding of life. We're here to open the doorway for humanity to enter into a coalition with our star families, to consciously be part of the process of creation, to consciously understand that what happens on Earth affects everything in the cosmos. We are here to bring peace through the understanding of self. We are here to be the way showers to show by example what any soul dwelling on Earth is capable of. The Mayan interdimensional star map is the pattern that closely resembles the tree of life, but it's more symmetrical and has a different number of circles. At the base is Earth. Directly above is our sun. Above that is a midway station. Then directly in the center, Pleiades. On the outer pillars to the left and right are Antares and Arcturus. Antares is Mayan tone 6 and Arcturus is 7th. The royal stars Antares, Aldebaran, Fumohat, Regulus were seen as guardians of Earth, sky, in 3000 BCE. There is sacred geometry connected with the Antarian mothership. The Alpha Centaurians are beings that can breathe underwater since most of that planet is water. <music>
Alpha Centaurians are of average height, 5'11", slender build, able to breathe under the oceans as the home world is oceanic, as Antares is associated with Scorpio constellation. They were on the midheaven and the chart worked perfectly with communication with Antares and Pleiadians. These royal stars are stargates for entering our dimensional field and others. Arcturus represents death and rebirth and works with Sirius B and Pleiades. These four royal stars hold good and evil powers, so they are neutral. The four sacred directions are linked to north, west, east, and south. Uriel descended to Earth to warn Noah of a coming deluge, advising him to prepare an ark to carry his family and a menagerie of genetics to safety. Raphael then fell upon the leader of the Watchers, called Shemyaza, bound him hand and foot, and thrust him into eternal darkness. Next, Gabriel charged with slaying and dissenters' offspring, encouraged the monstrous angel children to fight one another. Finally, Michael gathers up the remaining Watchers, forces them to witness the deaths of their progeny, and condemns them to eternal torment. Only then did the heavens open up and wash away the last traces of the destruction that the fallen angels had wrought. The Watchers are also portrayed as a high order of angels, or archangels, known as Grigori, or Irin. Archangel Michael is called from the north, Gabriel from the west, Ariel, Uriel, the angel of wishes and willpower, from the north or east, Raphael from the south. Fomohat is Arabic for the mouth of the fish and is one of the southernmost bright first magnitude stars visible to northern latitudes. It can be found in the constellation Pisces and is the 17th brightest star. <laughs>
Centurions have small, narrow nostrils with no nose. They don't have bodily hair and skin's very light. The skulls have bony appearing ridges on either side. They have a family structure and lifespan that can be thousands of years, as is normal in advanced light societies in 5D. The female of our species works alongside the males in their chosen profession. They're educators for children and household together. They have a deep family bond and spend time together when they're not working, and the family unit's very strong. They travel to other planets for vacation and sometimes take a working vacation while the family engages in sightseeing and recreational activities. Knowing about how other civilizations live, they're blessed with choices when they take vacation time. The education and information systems deal with holographic technology. As we have words and images and numbers in our recordings, uh, their information is transmitted to us, sent as a beam of light energy and received by our higher brain. All the information is received simultaneously and integrated instantly. They're quick learners.
facing the final cleanup and removal of the underground and undersea reptilian bases located around the globe, this was led by the Prasayan people. Completing the process was a priority to ensure everyone's safety from this point forward. It is imperative. Those that took the brunt end of the force were Arcturus, Tau Ceti, and Procyon. The contributions of the Procyon people were especially valuable because they learned the weaknesses of these malevolent menaces. They learned how to sniff them out and beat them. This war was fought to secure the total freedom of planet Earth and her people for the menacing interference of primarily two regressive races, reptilians from the star system Alpha Draconis and Hydra a specific variety of renegade greys now living in the Orion star system. These greys are the progeny of Zeta Reticulans who have not been home to Zeta Reticuli one or two in at least a few thousand years. The people of Procyon just recently liberated themselves within the past 12 years of Earth time. They were able to view a holographic image and the information contained within the image. It was received and immediately integrated into words. They understood this instantly and projected it onto Earth people. They were able to utilize all of their brain capacity as well as Antarians.
should be expected from Polaris, the planet Ventra, Antares, planet Nikose, Sirius A, planet Toleka, as well as the constellation Cygnus of the star system Alpha Cygni, aka Deneb, and the planet Retol. The message of the Anturians is get out into nature, quiet your mind, live in your heart, await these changes with love for yourself and others, and you will awaken in joy to a beautiful new world. <laughs> Thank you.
Starseeds that have been used by shadow governments have a specialized and difficult mission at hand to override programming downloads, SIP implants, and other control mechanisms, along with genetic engineering of their DNA, holographic copies, and timeline manipulations that damages their core templates, inhibiting them and their soul levels, and at their soul levels, to be integrated into 5D consciousness. As many have had mass rituals done on them, memory erasures, and other forms of source or star system distortions and disconnects.